Okay, so in today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a flat style water drop logo, similar to what you see here. So let's open up Inkscape and get started. This should be your view when you first start. Let's go to view and set that to custom, zoom, one to one, file, document, document properties, right there. And let's uncheck these two boxes and close that out. Then we're going to select our Align and Distribute menu. We're going to bring that up. From the drop down, you want Last Selected chosen. And then you're going to come over here to the Edit Objects uh, button. You're going to click that to open up that menu. And then we're ready to go. Okay, so first things first, let's create a polygon. Come over here to the Stars and Polygons button. Let's click on that. Have these um, th this input set. You want to have this selected right here, regular polygon, corners 6, rounded 0, randomized 0. Go ahead, hit con hold control and shift and click and drag to create your polygon. You want it to have you want to have it about, about that big. You want it so hold on, let me bring this over here. You want it so that the corners are facing up and down like that. You don't want it like this, you want it like that. So just rotate your cursor around to to make it that make it so it's positioned like that. And let's turn this red and come over here to opacity. Let's drop that in half so we can see through different layers and see what we're doing. Okay. Next step, come over to stroke paint. Click on the blue button to activate that. Come over here to stroke style and let's make that 20. Hit 20 and enter. Come over here to the middle button that says round join. Click on that. And then go to path, stroke to path, path, break apart, path, union. And let's turn that red again. All right. Now let's right click on that, go to duplicate. Let's turn that black and come up here to this button, lower selection to the bottom. We're going to click that and drop it to the bottom. Come back over to your stroke tab, hit the blue button again so we can turn that on. Come back over to stroke style, make sure you have round join selected and let's make that let's make that 125 let's see how that looks all right we'll do that path stroke to path path break apart path union let's turn that blue let's go to edit and duplicate turn that black drop that to the bottom with the lower selection to bottom button, we're going to click that once, come back over to stroke paint, hit the blue button to turn it on, and we're doing the same thing here. We're going to leave that, yeah, we'll leave that at 25, and again, click on the round join button. And once again, path, stroke to path, path, break apart, path, union. All right? So let's click off of, click off of the graphic to deselect everything, and let's go over to our create rectangles button. We're going to click on that and we're going to draw a long rectangle going over this whole thing. About that. Let's say about that big. Alright. Come over to the stroke tab and let's turn that off by clicking the X button. Alright. You want it to look like that. You want it to be about that thick as well. Alright. So let's go back over to our arrow and with that selected hold shift and click on the red polygon. Come down here to your align and distribute menu and let's center it on the vertical axis and then on the horizontal axis. Alright, let's deselect everything with this button up here to the left and then let's click on just this rectangle, right click it, go to duplicate and holding the control key on your keyboard, click and drag it up to about up to about there. And come over here to this arrow on the side and click and drag that in to about there. We want this one to be a little shorter. Alright? So once you've done that, right click on it, hit duplicate, hold control, click and drag it down to about here. Okay, now let's go over to, let's click and drag over this these entire three rectangles. Let's click and drag over all of them to select them all. And let's center them up on the vertical axis by clicking that button. And come down here to where it says uh, the distribute menu. You want to select make vertical gaps between objects equal. That's going to space them out evenly. So go ahead and hit that once and it's going to space them out. 
then go to path union so we combine everything together then hold shift and click on the red polygon so you have them both selected and let's center that up on the vertical axis and then on the horizontal axis and let's deselect everything now let's come over here and click on this black polygon in the back click on that and select it be sure you gotta be precise with this because sometimes you'll accidentally click the blue one or the red one make sure you have the black one selected see I just did it I just selected the blue one by accident click on the black one in the back come on there we go alright now once you have that selected edit duplicate and come up here to the stroke tab and let's turn the stroke on with that we should get something like this alright now come over here to stroke style let's make this uh, let's see how 35 looks 35 um, maybe 40 alright we'll do 40 go to path stroke to path path break apart path union and with that selected hold your shift key and then click on our three little rectangles we just created so you have them both selected and then go to path difference so we have this little we now have this little accent designed to go with our overall logo shape all right now once we have that set let's come over here we're going to need some open space to work with here because we're going to create our raindrop icon next and to do that we're going to click on the rectangle and click on the rectangle hold control and click and drag while holding control to create a perfect square be careful not to make it like this or like that you want it to be a perfect symmetrical square just like that come up to the stroke tab let's hit the X button to turn that off and let's go up here to path and let's convert that to a path object to path now come over to the arrow key click on that and it should bring up these arrow handles around each side of the square click on the square a second time to bring up the rotation handles you want to hold the control key and click on this rotation handle and just click and drag it so that it's upright like that alright we want the corners up and down just like that now let's go over up here to this little lock icon we're gonna we're gonna set that we're gonna turn the lock on and come up here to where it says width let's make the width of this let's make it 350 you can highlight that and backspace it type it in just type in 350 and then hit enter okay and let's turn that red now let's come over here and create a circle again holding control click and drag while holding control to create a perfect circle we're going to turn that blue go back to our arrow come up here to the width and let's make that the same width as the square so that's going to be 350 all right now come up here lower selection to the bottom click that once and then holding shift click on the red square so you have them both selected and let's center it up on the vertical axis and then on the horizontal axis so you get something just like that now let's deselect everything with that button right there and let's go to this red square click on that right click it and go to duplicate and let's turn that green now click on the blue circle in the background so you have it selected you'll know you have it selected you could look down in the uh, bottom left corner over here and it'll show you what you have selected when you see this blue when you see that blue thing highlighted there you'll know you have it selected so let's go to let's select that hold shift and then click on the green square so you have the blue circle and the green box selected and go to path difference and we're going to end up with something like that all right now let's go to path break apart and come up here to where it says deselect everything click on that come up to this top piece of the circle highlight that and just delete it. You could press the delete key on your keyboard and that'll get rid of it. Do the same thing over here. Click on this top piece, press the delete key and that'll get rid of it. The next thing we want to do is click and drag over this whole selection to select all three items and go to path union. All right. Now come over here to where it says edit paths by nodes. Let's click on that and we're going to focus on these two corner nodes right here. We're going to make these rounded. So we're going to come over here off of the graphic and click and drag over those two corner nodes to select them both and come up here to this button that says make selected nodes auto smooth 
you want to click on that and it's going to turn them into that all right now with those two nodes still selected hold your control key and click and drag one of them to bring them down you want to bring it down to about to about there all right and then let's go back up to our arrow and come over here to this little arrow on the side just click and drag and let's reduce the width of that so as you can see it is now starting to take the shape of a water drop all right so the next thing we do let's right click on that duplicate let's turn that red and come up here to where it says path and go to inset we're going to do this a few times so I'm going to show you a shortcut click on inset and it's going to make the insides of it it's going to make it just a little smaller than the, the blue water drop underneath it so we're going to do that a few more times holding the control hold your control key and click 9 so control 9 1 2 3 and let's do it one more time okay so we inset that a total of five times all right now let's go back to our arrow let's right click on this red water drop duplicate let's turn that green and come down here to this little arrow on the bottom left hold your control key and click and drag it just like this to make it smaller you want to make it about this much smaller and then after you've done that come up here to the top right corner arrow hold control click and drag and let's drag this up like that to make it bigger about that size you're gonna to wanna to have it so that you're gonna to wanna to have it so that the edge of this green water drop overlaps the edge of this red water drop in order to achieve what we're trying to do here so I'm gonna show you that again holding control click and drag it's getting bigger getting bigger and now it is over the top edge is overlapping the edge of the red water drop as you can see so once you've done that hold shift and click on the red water drop so you have both of these selected and go to path difference all right now this is a little too big we're gonna make this a little smaller and we're gonna do that by going back to the inset function so hold control and hit 9 again it's gonna make it smaller let's hit it one more time uh, maybe one more hit it again okay that looks good so I inset that three times to make that look the way it does now let's come over here to the opacity and let's slide that all the way to the right to make it completely completely solid like that so we can't see through it anymore and let's turn that white that's gonna be kinda of like a makeshift glare effect alright and now click on the blue water drop and let's do the same thing bring the opacity all the way to the right okay and let's make this a, a more appealing shade of blue come down here slide on over to the right over to the blue spectrum and let's select like a nice aquatic blue color something like that it doesn't have to be exact just something in that something in that area whatever you think looks good and once you've done that we're gonna click and drag over this whole thing and we're gonna group it together now getting back to what we did over here let's click and drag over this entire thing and come over here to the opacity slider bring it all the way to the right just like that so now everything here is solid all right now let's deselect everything with that button let's click on our little rectangle lines then hold shift and click on this black polygon in the background then hold shift and click on the red polygon in the middle so we have pretty much everything selected except for that blue polygon in the background we don't want that selected so let's come over here and using your dropper tool come over here to this little arrow in the bottom corner click on that and go down to dropper all right if you don't see this arrow on your screen you probably have the dropper icon in your menu here so just highlight your uh, just hover your cursor over each icon until it, one of them says dropper you'll know it when you see it all right so once you have your dropper icon come over here and click on the blue water drop we want to make these items the same color as our water drop for now anyway all right so let's go back to the arrow let's deselect that let's come over to this blue polygon in the middle and come up here click on that come over here to the fill tab and come down here make sure you have the HSL uh, tab selected and come down here to where it says L let's click and drag that to the left to make it darker 
we want to make that dark. We want to make it about that dark. Okay? And then click on this other blue polygon in the middle here. And let's turn that white. So click on the white. Turn that white just like that. All right. The next step we are going to do, come over here, create a circle, and let's create any lips going over this water drop. It's going to be white when you first when you first draw it. So just turn it. Let's turn it red. And let's drop the opacity in half. And then come back up to your arrow to change the shape and size of it. We want to have it we want to have it looking I'd say like that. All right. Then hold shift and click on the water drop so you have them both selected and center them up on the vertical axis. Okay, deselect everything and then click on the red circle, right click it, go to duplicate, turn that blue, then hold your control key and click and drag this bottom arrow down here. Just click and drag it in just like that to make it a bit smaller. We want to make it about that, about that much smaller. Then hold shift and click on the red uh, circle or ellipse, whatever you want to call it. So you have them both selected and go to path difference. All right. Now let's right click on this and go to duplicate and holding the control key again, let's again click on this bottom arrow and just drag it inward like that so it makes it a little smaller. So as you can see we're creating a little bit of a ripple effect here. So this is this is overlapping the water drop. So I'm just going to move the water drop up a little bit like that. All right. Now let's click on this bottom crescent we just created. Hold shift, click on the top crescent we just created, and let's group them together. Path, Union. All right. Now let's drop that to the bottom with this button right here. Then hold shift and click on the water drop so you have them both selected. And we're going to group that together just like that. Now take this and bring it over here. And let's try to place it right in the middle like that. Click on, have this selected, and then hold shift and click on the middle polygon and center it up on the vertical axis, just like that. And let's deselect the whole thing. Now, coming just clicking on just our little water drop graphic here, we're going to bring this up to about here. We're going to hold control and we're going to click and drag this to scale it down. We want it to fit nicely within this uh, polygon shape we've created about that much I'd say that looks good so let's ungroup that click the ungroup button deselect everything and come over here to the red the red ellipses and let's bring the opacity all the way up slide that all the way to the right let's turn that white and let's click on this water drop let's right click it go to duplicate ungroup it and then go to Path, Union. You ungroup it with this button right here. That's the button that ungroups it. So, okay, after you've done that, Path, Union, let's turn it black. And let's come over here to where it says Lower Selection, One Step. We're going to click that once. All right. And then come over here to the Stroke tab. Let's turn that on with the blue button. And come over here to the Stroke Style tab. And let's make that 10. Let's see how 10 looks. Now that's not enough. Let's try 20. Uh, maybe 25. Alright, that's good enough. Now let's go to Path, Stroke to Path, Path, Break Apart, Path, Union. Just like that. And let's turn that white. And let's come up here to where it says Lower Selection One Step. Let's click that once. Click it twice, click it a third time, and there we go. By the third time, it should be lowered behind this blue, this dark blue polygon right here. So we end up with something like that. Now let's click on this water drop, and we're going to duplicate it again. Right click, duplicate, come up to the ungroup button, ungroup it, go to path, union, let's turn that black, and with it selected, Click on it a second time to bring up these rotation handles. And once you bring that up, you're going to see this little white cross in the middle. 
we want to hold control and click and drag this white cross all the way to the bottom of the, the drawing, just like that. And then click on the water drop again to bring up our scaling handles. And click on that, and let's just drag this down to about here. And then click on it again to bring up the rotation handles. And let's click on this one on the top, and let's move it over to the side, just like that. And you can play around with this a little bit, get it to a positioning where it looks similar to what I'm doing here. And once you've done that, come over here to where it says lower selection one step. We're going to click on that. And then come over to the opacity slider and let's slide this over a little bit to the left. A little bit more, a little bit more. We're trying to create a little flat uh, drop shadow behind it. So you can set the opacity to wherever you think looks good. I think that. What do I have here? 48.9? Yeah, that looks about right. So about 50. About halfway. Halfway at opacity, that should be alright. And let's deselect everything. And let's click and drag over the whole graphic and group it together. Alright? And now you have a little water drop logo. So you can go ahead and add some text beneath it. Like what I did before, I just wrote water drop. Um, let's use, I'm using the A beat font. I think that's a good font. So center that up kind of like that. And you can kind of just play around with it, make it look however you like, whatever you think looks good. So that is how you can create a flat style water drop logo using Inkscape. If you have any questions or if I missed any steps or messed anything up in the tutorial, uh, just let me know. Thank you for watching.